This is gonna be cool. Right? I'll tell you one thing. Beats the heck out of staring at a 3D model on a computer screen. Don't let the PM hear you talk like that. You know he's all in on digital engineering and digital product support. <laughs> digital product support? You see this? Sometimes the old way is the best. Wow. That is a big boat. Don't let these surface guys hear you call it a boat. This here is a ship. Murdoch! Wow, you're uh, a lot taller in person. Yeah, I get that a lot. We called him Slouch on the Submersibles program. On video calls, all you could see was his head at the bottom of the computer screen. Maybe one shirt button. And how did that program work out for you? Slouch here was right about hydrodynamic flow simulations. Your insights on propeller cavitation were invaluable. Ah, that is just a bit of old sea wisdom. Well, we're here because we need that old sea wisdom for the demolisher. Leadership wants a 15% increase in surface speed, and we're exploring a propeller system modification using emerging tech. For real? I thought 15% had to be a joke. No joke. Our adversary's prototype just ran rings around one of their legacy ships that's comparable in speed to ours. Either we're ready for showtime- Or it's lights out. Cool. This is amazing. Yep, they knew how to build them, that's for sure. So, how can I help? The PM is looking for quality modifications that are timely, sustainable, and within budget. Fast, cheap, or good, you only get to pick two, Oscar. Hey, tell that to the PM. <laughs> you really think we can have it prototyped in a few years? If proper funding is available, yes and likely fielded a couple of years after. You all are considering the middle tier of acquisition pathway of the adaptive acquisition framework for this, right? That's right, uh, beginning with a rapid prototyping effort. Followed by rapid fielding. If all goes according to plan, we hope to transition to the major capability acquisition pathway somewhere around full rate production. At that point, we could sustain the propeller modification and tend to any other modifications needed over the remaining life cycle of the demolisher. Sounds like a plan. But that's the problem with blueprints, ain't it? Everything's possible on paper. So, how did you guys manage to swing a site visit anyway? I thought that site visits extend the schedule. Well, they can. Oscar isn't sold on being able to do the work digitally. The PM thinks digital product support principles will help us deliver cost-effective product support, but I don't know. How do we accomplish this retrofit sitting at a computer hundreds of miles away? You know, I spent a lot of time on a ship like this back when I was in the service. And no, nothing actually beats this. <laughs> but having the flexibility to support this modification digitally without having to physically be on site all the time, well, I'd say keep an open mind, Oscar. You might just be surprised. Besides, with 24 ships to retrofit and our need to move quickly, we're gonna need all the help we can get.